Hi folks, I just want to show you the easiest way that you can add a texture in Photoshop. Um, so I'm almost finished editing this image and uh, it looks fine, but I just want to change the way the backdrop looks and uh, so I'm just going to drop a texture file on top of that. So you just navigate to wherever your texture file is stored on your computer, drag it onto the, um, the edit in Photoshop and I'm just going to line this up. Okay, so what I like about this one is it's got the um, the highlight in the middle and the, the, the slight vignette, which looks kind of nice. And I'll just resize this to fit over almost all of the image. And I'm just pulling it upwards so that the, the highlight is around the portrait subject. So I can click OK with that. Now over on the right hand side we're going to go to the blend modes and choose overlay which is my favorite soft light is quite good for the um, for the textures as well but I, I like the overlay one and I'm just going to turn the layer opacity down to maybe 45 or something like that. Okay so I'm now going to remove the color from that texture because I don't want it to all I want is the texture rather than those sort of brown tones. So with the texture file selected in my layers panel, I'm just going to go to the image menu, then adjustments, and choose the black and white adjustment. So if I OK that now, it takes all of the, the tone out of the texture. So I'm just left with the texture, which looks a little bit more interesting than it did with just the backdrop. A um, couple of other quick things that we need to do. I'm going to add a Gaussian blur because the texture is sharper than the rest of the image so I don't want to draw attention to it too much so in the filters menu go to blur Gaussian blur and you can use this dial to to change how much blur you've got in there I mean that looks alright to me and I just want to brighten up the backdrop as well you can see the original was somewhat dark uh, somewhat lighter so I'm just going to add another adjustment of brightness and contrast and just turn up the brightness a bit okay quite a lot and you can see it's left that um, that nice vignette effect okay so we now need to just mask it off our portrait subject so create a layer mask and with my black brush on 100% opacity and 100% flow I'm just going to paint it off everything except the backdrop and if you click the forward slash key that will show you where you've been in red so you don't miss any bits and I don't worry too much about getting right up to the line and being being super careful about it you just have to make sure this isn't on any skin otherwise it makes people look like they have uh, problems with their skin which nobody in your picture wants just paint over everything except the backdrop not too worried about those chrome chair legs Turn the forward slash key off. I'll just finish that hair. And there we go. Just a nice sort of finishing touch. There it is before, and there it is after.